How to use a T-handled release aid for bow hunting. You need to set up the bowstring for a release aid. Your choices are a rope loop, they also make these in metal, or right off the bowstring, you'll use two knock sets above your arrow, but there's a tremendous amount of pressure pushing upwards when you draw a bow. One knock set will usually slip. You need two and an eliminator button or a rubber button of some type below the arrow. Your arrow will go here, like so. Rubber button under the arrow, two knock sets above, and your release aid will hook up underneath, like so. This way here, the upward pressure, you'll have a cushion between your release aid and the knock of your arrow, and the two knock sets will resist and won't slip and it'll hold your setting. You draw your bow, this is a thumb activated release aid, so when you push this button with your thumb it shoots, it's an older model. And the reason people like a T-handle for hunting is it hooks up fast and they can also just leave it hanging on the bowstring ready to go right like this. How you set up your bowstring depends on your draw length, the type of release aid. Not all release aids, for instance this one, doesn't load real well on a rope loop. It needs the hard bowstring to load quickly and easily. We say it's such as this model, this is a wrist strap, finger trigger, pull to open, let go to close, can be used either way. It will grab a bowstring or it will grab a rope loop. I prefer this type for hunting and general archery for the reason that the trigger is pulled straight away from the target, like so. The opposite motion, hand to the target, finger away. A thumb trigger is a different motion. And many shooters, when they draw a thumb trigger, sometimes will come forward when they start thinking of the trigger. Where with the wrist strap, it's just a bit more conducive. I teach fish hook, fish line, set the hook from the back of the elbow. So you hook around your trigger, preferably pulling rearward as opposed to pushing the trigger downward. I like to set the release aid very short so that it is in this joint pulling straight away from the target, which is more conducive to the proper archery form applying back tension through the shot. Another type of T-handled release aid, anybody serious about shooting archery should think about or consider buying a true back tension release aid. This has no trigger whatsoever. It is strictly triggered by pulling your elbow backwards, pinching your shoulders, outwards in this motion and it teaches the proper archery form of true back tension. Most people do not hunt with this type of release aid. Almost all good target shooters use this type of release aid and it is very recommended for anybody who is serious about archery and wants to learn the proper shooting form. And then once you know that proper back tension pull through the shot form, a T-handle or a wrist strap release aid is typically what the shooter will use for hunting.